The primary reason we're here today is to talk about the 7 million square foot RFP that the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport has issued. And uh, what I'd like to do is start with uh, you, Ali. T sure. Tell us a little bit about the scope of um, the Wi-Fi uh, RFP. All right, the very, in a high level, <clears throat> we have the terminals A, B, C, and E, and of course D. And uh, what we had put in back in 2005 or so, when we actually we terminal D, they, uh, the entire uh, concourse level of terminals are covered. Uh, we have Wi-Fi throughout, including Grand Hyatt, um, as well as uh, the rooms and also the lobby areas. So what we're trying to do basically is to replace all that system. Uh, of course, got to be upgraded, new hardware, new solution. And based on that, we're trying to kind of have a capability to be able to deliver some of the rich content that in the past we have not been able to do that. Of course, with some of the new technologies as far as the location-based services or whatnot, to be accommodating those type of areas. So the scope itself at high level is the replacement, taking advantage of new features, functions uh, that we're uh, collective we're going to be designing. And as far as the, the timeline we're looking at next year, uh, early next year would be a contract in place and uh, there would be a transition period for that system, of course, uh, because right now we're processing passengers' access, public access, go through those. Um, so in a way, we're looking next year to for the project to start and basically replacing all the hardware that is there. And how long will it take once you start um, to actually complete the implementation? Well, last time we did this, it took us about almost a year to complete the task. Um, however, one of the challenges we have, or opportunity we have, is the renovation of terminals, as happening today. As you see, Terminal A, portion of it is going through renovation, and uh, so what we're trying to do, basically, accommodate the passenger access at the same time, so customer service is really key on uh, making sure our customers are not impacted. Uh, so what we're looking at is is a, kind of a couple of uh, scenarios that could happen, meaning that next year we start transitioning from the areas that we already have services, and also we're going to be installing new hardware in uh, areas that are going to be under construction. So when the construction section becomes complete operational, we're going to be on the new system. So at the same time, we're transitioning from the current system to the new system. Okay. So it's going to be an opportunity for us to work on the sequencing of the events, installation, support, and also bring systems up online as well. Okay? Thank you very much. Uh, John, you're responsible for the uh, uh, digital messaging and, and content. Can you tell us a little bit about the scope of um, your aspect of the, the, the RFP? Sure. I get the exciting part because I get the part that faces and touches our guests. DFW has uh, upwards of 60 million guests per year who come through our uh, come through our facilities to fly all over the planet. Uh, we've got flights to practically anywhere you could want to go, and and some places you probably wouldn't want to go. And what I bring to the table is I bring a mechanism for touching them. We have probably 5,000 displays throughout the airport some interactive, some not interactive, some up above, some you know at your feet, some inside the building where you get your ticket, some outside the building, right? Mm -hmm. So what I bring to the table is a mechanism for touching all of those people. Ali works behind the scenes to make it all work and I'm very happy for that. What I get to do is the glamour part, right? <laughs> so yes, I ride on Ali's shoulders. <laughs> what the scope of this particular arrangement is Presently, those displays, wherever they may be located, are, are driven from a, a, a distributed system, right? So what this scope wants to do is to consolidate and centralize so that we can control all of the displays from a central location or even remotely from my living room in my pajamas if I want to. The RFP is specifying Cisco's products one of the reasons is we already have an extensive Cisco network that Ali has given me, right, which I, of course, take the credit for. And uh, we're also using a product from Nexus called AppSpace. AppSpace is the content management tool that allows us to schedule the content and, in some cases, create the content for delivery out to the displays. Okay. As I stated earlier, to provide the customer, to exceed the customer's 
expectation from a serviceability standpoint. We want them to be productive. We want them to um, uh, be able to feel as though they can be entertained. And, you know, we think that uh, with this program that we're launching or that we're expanding, if you will, that we're going to take it to the next generation. And a sponsorship relationship helps us to achieve that objective. Okay. What types of people have been invited to participate or if there's somebody who's heard about it and is interested in uh, participating in the RFP, how would they go about um, contacting you? Who would they contact? Well, actually, Jeff, they can uh, get information on our website at www.dfwairport.com slash opportunities. The RFP was actually released on September the 27th. The, uh, to Ali's point, our um, pre-proposal conference is going to be held October the 14th. November the 18th is when the proposals are due back to DFW. Well, gentlemen, we are uh, so excited about having the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport here at the Wireless Infrastructure Show. Uh, this is a type of application that um, uh, the wireless industry has been talking about for a long time. Uh, for, for true customer satisfaction, um, you have to have quality infrastructure. Absolutely. And I know personally, I spend a lot of time on airports, uh, in airplanes, and um, it gets really frustrating when you can't get the internet these days. And I'm just delighted you're here with RCR and the Wireless Infrastructure Show.